Hi, I'm Ross Hoddinot from Nature TTL and today I'm going to be discussing the best focal lengths and lenses for landscape photography. I'm on Darmore today which is a beautiful windswept landscape and as you can see this whole moorland is covered in these fantastic granite outcrops and this is the perfect place to discuss different focal lengths and different lenses needed for landscape photography and I think landscape photographers really should have a good versatile range of lenses with them whenever they go out to shoot landscapes and I want to discuss the three main types today which are wide angle lenses, standard lenses and also telephotos. Let's begin by discussing wide angle lenses because they're the mainstay for most landscape photographers. With a lot of big landscapes, you're going to want to capture, you know, big vista um, and have foreground interest or perhaps a leading line. And the best lens to capture that is a wide angle. This one's a, a 14 to 30 millimeter lens, and this is one that I use, you know, a huge amount in my own photography. And it just gives you a really kind of versatile range. Um, and it's a really, a really nice perspective for a lot of landscapes. This is the perfect landscape type to use a wide angle lens when there's so much to capture. There's brilliant foreground rocks. We've got these fantastic um, granite outcrops behind us. And a wide angle lens allows me to capture the big view, place things in the foreground to create depth and, and, and give my images a real three dimensional feel. And I wouldn't be able to do that with a longer focal length or a telephoto lens because it just wouldn't allow me to capture the extent or the context of this fantastic environment. So I'm just going to have a little wander now. I'm going to go and have a, a look around this fantastic landscape and see how best I can use this focal length. I probably use wide angle lenses in perhaps 70% of, of my landscape shots, but do be careful because there is a risk that when you go super wide, you can actually create images with kind of large empty spaces. So do use the focal length wisely. Make sure that you're not including space for the sake of it and be careful that you're not diminishing the impact of those kind of background elements, whether that's a mountain range or a building or a nice range of hills. There's a few other things to be kind of conscious of when you use a wide angle lens. They're much more prone to vignetting, which is when you see kind of darkening of the corner of the lens. And also flare can be more of an issue when you're shooting with a very wide lens because it's much harder to use a lens hood or to shield the front of the lens. Often when you're shooting landscape images, your choice of focal length will actually be quite an instinctive and, and often quite an obvious thing. I mean, here we've got this fantastic foreground and using a longer focal length, for instance, a standard or, or certainly a telephoto just wouldn't work. I just wouldn't get the kind of context and scale that I want to achieve here. And so often with your landscape images, that decision making process over focal length is one which is, is kind of quite instinctive. So trust your instincts when you select lenses for your landscape shots. So I've decided to go for a, a kind of a vertical shot here because wide angle lenses work brilliantly in a vertical composition to, to add real depth to the foreground. I'm using the ledges here with the shade and light, which is, is putting some really nice depth into the image. Um, it, looks, it looks nice already. I could do with a bit more cloud in the sky. So again, this suit's kind of shooting down into the foreground. So I'm gonna just refine this wide angle composition and um, hopefully over the next kind of few minutes um, get some, some nice shots. I've now swapped to my standard uh, zoom lens, which is a, a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. And this is a focal length which often kind of gets overlooked a little bit really because I think there's a perception of standard lenses that they're kind of a bit boring. Um, they're much more like our actual kind of natural vision or natural eyesight so they produce a much more um, kind of neutral perspective. Um, but the reality is this is a very very useful focal length and it's one that you absolutely must have in your camera bag. There's lots of situations where a standard zoom is going to be useful for landscape photography. Sometimes wide angle lenses are just too wide and, and, and you basically push some of those kind of key background elements uh, too far in the distance. They become too small and you lose some of their, their kind of real impact. Whereas a standard focal length will allow you to kind of capture things much more realistically. And, you know, if you've got rolling hills, if you've got mountains or these kind of rock stacks as we have behind us, you can kind of make sure that they remain imposing and interesting. And I think a wide angle lens doesn't do that in quite the same way. One of the other advantages of shooting with a standard focal length of around 50 to 70 millimetres is that you can be much more kind of concise with your composition and also exclude kind of boring skies. Because there's lots of situations when you go out and you've just got 
clear blue skies, which is kind of the one of the worst things for landscape photography often. And a longer focal length allows you to exclude those areas and place more emphasis on the landscape itself. Finally, let's look at telephoto lenses. And although these are widely less used for landscape photography, they are still an essential thing to have in your camera bag. Uh, this is a 70 to 200 millimeter lens, which is a great focal range for landscapes. While a wide angle lens will kind of stretch perspective, a telephoto lens will really allow you to isolate really key interest. And for instance, in this situation where a wide angle lens wouldn't pick out some of the beautiful light catching the distant hills, we can use a telephoto to really isolate those areas and put emphasis on it and create a less three dimensional shot, but one that really highlights the beauty of a certain part of the landscape. Although a telephoto lens can only capture a small slice of the landscape, it's absolutely fantastic for making you think more about composition and allowing you to isolate key parts of the landscape. And you will find that you create some really creative, innovative landscape images through the use of a longer focal length. The reality is, as a landscape photographer, you need a good variety of focal lengths to deal with different landscape types, different shooting situations and different light. So ideally carry a good range of lenses from wide angle right through to telephoto. I have a slight preference for using lenses with a variable focal length because it means that you can carry fewer lenses but you still maintain that great versatility. And when you're walking up to places like this, the less kit you can carry, uh, the more energetic you are about exploring different viewpoints. So zoom lenses are particularly good, I think, for landscape images and their quality today are every bit as good as a good prime lens. And you will be able to see from the images that I've taken here today that different focal lengths produce very different results and each justify their place in your kit bag. I hope that's given you some ideas about how to use different focal lengths to take better landscape images. And don't forget to subscribe to the Nature TTL YouTube channel for more tutorials on wildlife photography, landscapes and macro.